Hi there. How are you guys? Good morning. Remy, hi, bro. Good doggies. Good doggies. You're such good doggies. I wanted to show you guys how big my rose belly is getting. <laughs> Did I say Remy? Myra. No, no, no cereal for you. No cereal for the doggies. No. We have a video somewhere on our channel. When Missy was pregnant, she climbed into the cereal cabinet and shut the door behind her. And she was just in there chowing on cereal. Um, Myra, come over here. Come back here. Hey, don't climb on me, sweetie. Myra, come here. Can you guys see how big her belly is just Mama. from this belly? You're a vampire. And I am thinking. Because you're drinking what? I'm drinking. Group Ooh, yummy. Oh, <laughs> Myra, Myra, come here, sweetie. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Hi, yes. Hello, everybody. I know you all need your love. I'm sorry that I had my microphone turned See. off, everybody. Look at how, look how big your belly's getting. Well. Oh, goodness. Sorry. That makes it loud for everybody. I don't know if you guys know this, but you've turned in, sorry, you've tuned in to NPR. So she's doing well. She is, um, she's doing eight days. Um, oh, my goodness. We're going to start taking her temperatures tomorrow. Um, the temperatures. When we um, do them on our moms, some of our moms, like Daisy, for instance, her baseline temperature is a little low for um, dogs in general. And so she's not very accurate. Um, we still take them just to see if maybe it'll be different that time. But um, her temp drop is so subtle that it's really hard to differentiate just between a regular fluctuation. Um, Myra, however, she has a pretty normal like 101.5 um temperature and so when it when it does its hormonal drop to um kickstart labor um it's pretty significant um i believe last fall her temp dropped like like two and a half degrees it was pretty significant um and she had had some pretty wild fluctuations of like half a degree um and she'd gone down to like 100.2 but then she dropped to like 98.6 and that's what we knew that um um sorry something got my eye um that was when we knew that puppies were definitely coming so she was really really predictable with temps so i expect that it'll be the same way this time around um she's doing really well so far um with Bella. That's fine. She was just outside. You can you can take her with you. I want to read you guys Chris's update. Mm. Um, real quick. Good morning, Amber. Good morning, Paula and Linda. Good morning, Sunshine. Nisho, how are you? It's nice to see you. Oh no, she says it is disheartening to read Chris's update on Amelia today. I haven't read it yet. Oh, you haven't? No. Yeah, it's it's not good. Hold on just a second, Bella. Yes, baby. Okay, so the update today is sadly not as happy as the last one from the vet was. They checked on her blood work today. At least that was the reason for the appointment. They saw that her liver values are climbing again instead of dropping like they need to. A value that I can't translate but causes her eyes and gums to turn yellow is also climbing again. So that's um, a lot of times when people go into acute liver failure or if they are in chronic liver failure, like liver failure that they're living with, um, it'll turn their um, eyes yellow. It's What's it called? Jaundice. Jaundice. Um, and so it's a symptom. It's not like an additional problem. It's just a symptom. Um, but it's usually because the, um, their liver is not filtering all of those toxins and the stuff that the waste that it usually filters. And so it's showing elsewhere. Isn't it? I thought that the liver, it was, that was red blood cells. It was supposed to be filtering like those, that's like your liver isn't filtering out the red blood cells. And so then that's well, why I'm not, you... I'm not trying to get that specific. Oh, okay. Sorry. All right. So I mean, to get so specific. 
Um, I'm just trying to keep it simple and basic. Um, her blood work also showed that she is once again fighting an infection. The type of protein in her blood that was off is still off. I'll do some Googling when I get a chance to try and find an English translation for those two that I can't translate off the top of my head. Um, the liver enzymes, there's three liver enzymes that I know of. I'll see if I can help figure it out. Oh, no. He said they also checked her weight, and she has lost 300 grams since she came home. Because the liver and the yellow values are both climbing, they did another ultrasound to check on her liver and her gallbladder. Both of those are where they should be and don't seem to be in trouble. Her stomach movement is once again slowing down, and they also noticed some fluid in her chest cavity. It wasn't enough fluid to worry about or where they would need to drain it immediately, but it is worth keeping an eye on. We got two medications that are supposed to help her eat. One is to help against nausea and stimulate her digestive tract to start working again, and the other is an appetite stimulant. This is in addition to the medicine to help her liver and antibiotics, among other things. In addition to the medicine, they gave us some high-calorie food that we can try giving her and a food that is for her uh, GI system. We are supposed to try those out in the next two days. On Friday, we go back in to get her stitches removed, and they will have to do another checkup and see what the next steps are. For now, she's able to come home, but they can't guarantee that she'll be able to come home with us on Friday. Please, please, please keep her in your thoughts and your prayers. It feels like each time we get some hopeful news, no matter how small, the next talk with the vet is a step backwards. They don't know what the problem is with the liver and the gallbladder. They aren't sure why she is refusing to eat and starving herself in front of a full food dish. They don't have any answers for us, and it seems to me like they are just trying random medications, random medications and hoping for the best. She's a fighter, and as long as a four-kilogram dog can fight, so can we. Oh, Chris, I'm so sorry. Uh, I am so sorry, Chris. Ugh. That one that one hurt to read. Um. So um, I back just, back on the prayer train, everybody. Um, Drew and I really empathize with that back and forth because with Matthew being undiagnosed, they had they all had this kind of same sort of attitude where it was like, this is what we usually try in a similar situation, so why not? And there were all kinds of like various supplements and diets and exercises and like a whole list of things that they just kind of threw at the problems. And they didn't know if it was going to work or if it was going to help. It was just a guessing game. It was like, yeah, it was just, hey, let's give this a try. Yeah. So Throw this one at the wall. Um. I can I can sympathize with with you. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Chris. Um, I did I set up some links for you guys. I wanted to find out like exactly what you guys wanted, and, like merch wise. Um, but I went ahead and created those um, links for t-shirts. Um, I created I wasn't sure like which sizes you get or like which um, like for um Lavinia I didn't know if or I assumed that she would want like the women's shirt and so I created um uh a link for her for that one and then another one oh, for goodness, Anya boys. and then um the uh, men's for you and then um I wasn't sure your other children how would if you would want them to have the youth or um um the adults where they could choose their color so um I was going to find out from you which additional links you wanted and then i also wanted to find out which mugs so um let me know and i can also just send you links for like all the mugs and you can you can just pick which ones you want um but that way you can just fill out like the shipping the the colors sizes <clears throat> and then you just submit it and it's just there's a zero dollar balance <clears throat> oh i'm so sorry We gotta get Amelia better. Um, something too to also like consider is that at the vet clinic, um, she was probably less active. And when she came home, I'm sure she burned more calories. She probably burned more energy being at home like even though she was re relaxing 
her excitement in seeing you guys is it's she's it's just going to happen you know she's going to be wagging her tail she's going to be moving her body even if it's not a lot it's still going to be more than what she's doing at the vet clinic and so um you know that weight loss might um it might be recoverable it might not be um the worst thing in the world so you know because it's only been you guys have only had her home for a couple of days so I'd encourage you to try to stay optimistic. I know um, you guys do a great job of that already, but I just want you to, um, I just want to suggest that as another, because that's something that we look for in just the puppies when we're trying to discern where weight loss could be coming from. And um, when we have little runty puppies, we will make a point to deliberately reduce how much they're able to like move around and be active just so that they're conserving more of their calories. Um, and I suspect that, um, and also, oh, um, at the vet clinic, she was also getting, um, you know, the IV nutrition. She was getting a lot of stuff that, um, you guys are, aren't able to give here and, um, or at home, I should say, but, um, you know, at the vet clinic, even if she didn't eat, they were still able to give her stuff. And so even though she lost a little bit of weight, um, I don't think that, I think that she could have lost a lot more. I think that you guys still did a really good job feeding her. You, I'm sure that you guys were all over that. Um, and so I don't, I guess I don't want you to feel like you didn't do it well, or you did it wrong, or you're not doing good enough because you are at a bit of a disadvantage with some of those things because the vet clinic has little resources that um, you don't have. And kind of like when our puppies come out of their mom's womb and they are all on their own, they don't have mom's heart beating for them anymore. They don't have mom filtering their waste. Um, Amelia, now she's at home and she doesn't have access to those um, more invasive things that can, you know, help her keep weight on or, um, you know, they can more readily give her the appetite stimulants or increase her dose. And so, you know, right, right now you guys, you know, you're checking in less frequently too. So, um, you know, at the vet clinic, they were constantly monitoring her and they were able to adjust immediately. And so, um, give yourselves a little grace. Um, I'm sure you guys are doing a wonderful job. Um, I think that I know, <laughs> I know that Amelia is a hundred times happier at home. And I don't think it's necessarily that she's doing um, worse, you know, in terms of eating and all that stuff. I think that she's um, she's she's also got like a, she's got a current that she's fighting against. She had she had a lot of help at the vet clinic that she doesn't have at home, um, like through the use of different um, supportive, not Medicaid, but like the IV nutrition and things like that. That um, they were able to provide her with fluids too. You know, they could give her fluids IV and you can hydrate somebody a lot faster with IV fluids than you can um, by just giving them a bowl of water and hoping that they drink. So, um, you know, and that adds weight too. Um, so there's a lot of variables at play. And so, um, you know, wait and see isn't always a bad thing um, because it has only been a couple days. And so since it's only been a couple days that you guys have been on this, like only just dry dog food, only their only dog food, but, you know, without any of these really these extra sources of nutrition and extra of these other abilities to hydrate, um, that it's a, that's a pretty big difference, I guess, to, to consider that can also be contributing to weight loss and um, appetite and those kinds of things. But I don't think you guys are doing anything wrong. I don't th I think you guys are doing a really good job. And um, if anything, with her coming off of like the IV nutrition and having to eat on her own, um, I would say that she's doing pretty well considering that she, it was already so skinny. She's already, so she'd already come down so much in the first place. And so, um, I just don't want you guys to feel like you're, you're not doing a good job. Okay. 
Let's bring in sticks. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, this this live stream, we're still doing the fundraising. So this live stream has the aggressive ads on. Um, I mean, all the all content that is watched is being um, donated. We are at. Um, I totaled up the ad revenue so far. there it's at like $99 I think or $99 and some change for YouTube ad revenue and on fourth wall we're at like 278 I think or 278 578 <laughs> we're at 578 578 13 I think on fourth wall um say, wow oh I, I said no that's, that's good. <laughs> it's like oh gosh am I off am I wrong Yeah. That is really good. And that's that's not including the um the fourth wall. But that is included fourth wall. Four, five, so five seventy eight is fourth wall. Five seventy eight thirty is fourth wall. Ninety nine dollars and changes YouTube. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. So it's six hundred and seventy eight dollars total right now. Nice. Six hundred and thirty seven. Excellent. Excellent. If we could get them to seven fifty, that would be amazing. Because <laughs> I did, I thought I didn't think we'd get even where we're at. So, thank Oops, you guys sorry. so much for all of your support. Um, the all of the um, all of the revenue that's through YouTube. So, like even um, any supers, we don't really receive supers like on a normal day. But um, if anybody's to send a super, that will go um, into the donation pot. Um, memberships. And so not just new memberships, but like when a subscription fee, like on the recurring and the next month, that, that membership um, fee is going to go into it. Uh, any revenue generated through our channel um, during these, these couple of weeks is when um, is what will be donated. So um, We've got, we're at 99. I have it, in the, it's in the description. The exact numbers of the description. I thought I had it in my notes too, though. Hey, sweetie. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? The farmers are getting ready for for planting season. Can't believe it's already farming season again. Yeah. I can't believe that. Wow. Time goes by so fast. Yes, it does. You're such a good girl. You're So many pants. Let's just take a girl. see. <laughs> okay, you're a good girl. You're a good girl too. Yeah. Hi, Robin. Hi, Anna. You're a good girl. Sorry. Looking at your fur. Hi, Mocha. Welcome, Snuggle Robin. I love how the dogs, they all they come over here and I think they they, they realize that if they want to share the bed, they've got to kind of they want there to be room for everybody. They have to kind of pile on each other. And so like very few of them will come and just take up the whole bed. Mocha just came over and she kind of like half laid on Robin. Left plenty of room for another dog. 
You're such good doggies. Who's running over there? I was watching a video that we took of the dogs outside um, when we had the three really pregnant moms. <laughs> And Robin had her really long fur and her really big belly. And I forgot how long and beautiful her coat got before she had that litter. Um, and I'm excited for the weather to be nice again because that it's so nice to go outside, take the dogs outside and just hang out on the porch. And the dogs, they're, they go out and they play. And they're just, it's, there's something about it that is almost like hypnotizing to watch as they're running around. Um, and then they always come back and like check in. They'll come and check in. They'll lay down at our feet for a little bit, get some water, and then they'll go play. Um, this is the laziest wrestling match I've ever seen. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, it's Vienna and Paris, Ma mom and daughter. Doing a little... <laughs> it's so lazy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that either. Well, stop it. No, you stop. Yeah, I'm making fun of you. Hi, Missy. You're such a good girl. Yeah, you are. You're going to make a good grandma. You're going to be a good grandma. Oh boy. Yeah. What do you have? Oh man, Beth, when if if you're if you're on Beth, <laughs> um, I'm just kind of assuming you're there. Uh but um uh, when Maggie starts losing her baby teeth, you'll know when she does something like this. Now, Vienna, I don't think she has a baby tooth, but it reminds me of it because um, it's unmistakable because you'll notice her chewing on something and crunchy. you'll, yeah, it's really crunchy. And you go over there and you open their mouths and you're like, what, what is, is it? it? Okay, you must have eaten it. And then you let go and they go back to chomping it again. And so you go back to them and you open their mouths, it's nowhere to be found. And then you let them go and they start chomping again. And it's this like mysterious tooth that this floats around invisible. Uh, this mysterious crunching and in it's, their mouth. It's a terrible crunch. It's, oh. mm, it's it, not good. Yeah, it, it, it's like a grinding crunch. Yeah, it makes, it's, really it's like nails on a chalkboard sort yeah. of crunching. But um, it was like the fifth or sixth time that this happened that finally Drew and I would start being like, oh yeah, it's a, it's a tooth. Yeah, it's a tooth. She's not she's not giving it to us and we can't find it, but yet she's still crunching. It's a tooth. Uh, there's your coffee. Don't forget oh, it this you. time. Thank you. Oh, and you gave me breakfast cookies. Right. We call these breakfast cookies or breakfast Oreos. Breakfast Oreos. We have them with our coffee. Coffee Oreos. If you take a bite and then take a sip of your coffee, the coffee, like, um, it melts the cookie part of the Oreo. And then the cream part of the Oreo is almost like a creamer for the coffee. It is so delicious. If you like sweets, I strongly encourage you to try it. If you have not already discovered it. <laughs> yeah, coffee. We incorporate dessert into like every part of our lives. <laughs> Even coffee. Coffee Oreos. No, breakfast Oreos. Breakfast Oreos, sorry. Huh? Mm -hmm. Finding a better spot for the microphone. Turn uh. back. I, just, mm -hmm. I wish it wasn't so like the center of gravity is so bad. For the microphone? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a clip in a bad spot. You want some help? <laughs> she's the only like whenever Remy comes over and jumps on me she 
so he's like clawing at it and it's really loud and annoying sure. yeah, the middle thing. Can these no these can't turn can they? oh it doesn't I thought it did Oh, you guys all laid down. I'm not begging me anymore. Thank you. What's that? The dogs. They're uh, all crowding me for my Oreos. Uh, and they're being... Uh, they're using their manners. Mm. You had a sick Fiona. Why is there a stick hanging out of your whiskers? Baby. Can I help you? <laughs> oh, I see. I got the ice cube. Okay, yeah. yep, got it. Yeah, got ice it. cubes. Okay. And... <laughs> What the heck? This is supposed to just be my water bottle. <laughs> oh, mocha. I'm so I think tries to jump up and tap this. Let's, huh. I'm sling mocha. We're all such good doggies. You're all good. Oh my god, I just realized you guys are probably listening to my me chew my food. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's why I usually put it down whenever I'm eating something. That was probably really gross. I'm so sorry. That was really embarrassing too. <laughs> Here, I'll just put it right here for now. Like so, so, how's it say? So they can hear the dogs munching on the ice cube. Oh, it's better than hearing me munch on my breakfast Oreos. <laughs> yeah. I've only got one left. Breakfast Oreos. Would you like uh, another one? A chocolate one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Did Bella tell you about these Space Dunk Oreos? Did Bella tell you about the space dunk Oreos? That's all I've been hearing about. Oh, yeah. 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 About how they have pop rocks in the. I can't show you guys that. Oh, you. Yeah, I can't show you all the kids. Oh, you didn't? Oh, I didn't. Oh, I did not hear that. Oh. Me and they were talking about What's that? Me and they were talking about Christmas Bradley, where were you? I must have been. Uh, oh, was I in the bedroom? Yep. I think you were unconscious. What? I think you were unconscious. I was asleep? Yeah. I mean, because that's when we had the conversation. Oh, this morning? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Sorry about that. I know that we're not. Uh, what's, what's that called? There's videos ASMR. where people just like ASMR. record. No, it's like something like it sounds like a foreign word, where yeah. they just like eat food on the video. About, uh, um, mukbang. Oh, that's it. It's such an icky word. Like that. Yeah, that word sounds icky. like waste to me. Yeah. It's a waste word. But um, like it kind of sounds like a weird, inappropriate, only for adults sort of thing. I think it is actually. Well, they they do it. There's like all kinds of versions of it, <laughs> and 
Um, but that's why I <laughs> don't want my, my breakfast Oreos to have a You want them to have a, a mukbang feel? Not for my breakfast Oreos. Yeah, it's so I think like because there are some people who like like eat and eat and eat and it's like supposed to be it's like like the messier the better I don't know it's it's weird but sorry no offense to anybody who maybe appreciates that sort of content I'm sorry I don't mean to be offensive it's just not my cup of tea that's all I just I I that's not my thing you're a good girl Daisy. Mm -hmm. Hi, sweetie. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I don't want your tongue in my nose. You're such a good girl. Yes, you're a good girl. Hi. You. I am not to reply. Could you stop? Stop the cup. Gosh. Hi, Myra. What's up? You're a good girl. I would, sorry, I would be going, I'd be doing like the Happy Hound headlines and other stuff, but I've got an appointment that I'm kind of like getting ready for. And it's far away, so it's kind of a long drive. So we're just keeping it a little casual today. Keeping an eye on Myra. Her temps start tomorrow morning. Yay. Got to hang on to those puppies for another week. Yeah, well, not another week, but through the weekend. Girl. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then they'll be nice and big and mm -hmm. healthy. Yeah, you're such a good girl. She is so spoiled now too. She, um, now that she knows that she gets to sleep in the bedroom, she only wants to be in the bedroom. She <laughs> will accept the kitchen if Drew and I are in here. Yeah. But if we are not in here, it's unacceptable. She must be in the bedroom. So if you're ever if you're watching the stream and it's like you know mid afternoon and you hear Myra howling at the gate, that's why. <laughs> And so we will be coming to get her shortly. Um, if you hear her at the gate, we will come get her shortly. Uh, yesterday, I think I was in the shower when she was howling at the gate. There was something going on, and so she was there for a minute before we got her. But um, yeah. Yeah. her bedroom is now her happy place. And when we got back from our trip, when we went, um, when we were gone for those couple of nights, um, even though we came in and, you know, came back and forth to check on the dogs, um, when we got back, so we kept, um, Daisy, you know, the dogs that normally stay in our bedroom, we brought them in here just so that we had, you know, more, they were in a safer place. Um, and we had some dogs sleeping in the beds in the, um, laundry room, the utility room over there. And then we had the, our bedroom dogs with Piper and Juno out here. Um, and they had these beds. And when we got home, Myra was so upset about not being able to sleep in our bed anymore that she wouldn't even be in here when Drew and I were in here. 
she wanted to come she came out the gate into our bedroom and she just stayed in there for good she didn't come out um to really to do anything you know usually she follows us around and she wants to stay with us but it was like she was so worried about losing up that spot in her bedroom she just didn't want to ever leave it hmm. and so she would come out to go outside and go potty do you remember that we couldn't get her to come out of our bedroom uh, myra back from our trip oh yeah yeah <laughs> myra would not oh shoot she did not want to leave she was like how dare you leave me here she was like you guys tricked me I am pregnant. I am pregnant. I should be in on the bed, the most comfortable bed ever. And she knows she's pregnant because of how she um, accommodates her. She like way over accommodates her belly. Um, <laughs> no, she didn't even have a belly and yeah. she was like hopping over she's the like, stairs. Oh my goodness. Look at how big I am. I'm <laughs> so pregnant. <laughs> Don't worry, I don't love Myra more than you. <laughs> I think Daisy's worried that Myra might be encroaching. You're a good girl. Yeah. Daisy's even that way with Mocha. Uh, Daisy's but... really getting needy with you. I know, she is. I'm surprised, though, at how much she has like lightened up on Mocha. Yeah, she really has. Being able to share the throne. Mm -hmm. You're a good girl. I love your freckles. Oh. What? I wanted ice cubes, but I flipped it to water oh. and just squirt. Water in my hand. Don't worry, dog. That's not me. No, sorry. Fun police dad. Fun, fun police, police dad. alpha dad. Old dad. You're a pretty girl. Oh my goodness. I love you, sweetie. Oh. I don't love that. Oh, I wonder if she can tell that I'm getting ready to leave later. Maybe. She does not like when I leave without her. You can't come with on this one. Yeah, you're, this is not one you can come with. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I love you, Daisy. I want to get you one of those collars so I can know what you're feeling right now when you know I'm getting ready to leave you. I want to know if you're sad. Make you feel better. Hi, Pom. Okay, it's not a contest. <laughs> she seen Pom yesterday. Oh my gosh. She was, or no, not yesterday. It was this morning outside. I took a video and um, uh, Pom was so needy that she just followed me everywhere, huh. whining and fussing. Oh, oh. Um, but like she sounded like somebody was hurting her. And so I would aim the camera down so you could see that I was petting her. <laughs> Why aren't you paying attention to me? Daisy. Hi. I can love on Tom too. I can love her too. <laughs> you are so snotty. Mm. Ooh, and you're bold. You are very brave, Pom. You're brave. The cats are rolling back into heat again. Oh, are they? Yeah, and so that's why the dog. I thought I saw up. Mona starting to. Yeah, do the. Doing her crouch. The perch. Yeah. You have the best fur, Pom. Your fur is so pretty. No, don't jump on them. No, don't jump. <laughs> Stop. No. Oh, your mouth stinks. You are good girls. Yes, you are. No. Hi. Pam has such an elegant look about her.
try these guys with uh, copy. <laughs> Daisy. Hey, hey. Hmm. More breakfast cookies. Hi, Paris. What's that? They're good. Hey, Myra. You're a good girl. You can't do that. This is a family program, and I think that everybody would prefer that my shirt stays on. <clears throat> Here we go. Other than it. Stop! No, I'm good. Thank you. Here. I'll hold you. How's that? This is better. You stop with all that if I do this. Yeah, you're a good girl. You're a good girl. I hear your baby Beatrix is a lot like you. <laughs> and very, I can totally see that. Very needy. And like, it's it, like she's told so, she's shared so many stories that it's painted a really good picture over time because she, you know, how she leaves comments on her mm -hmm. videos. And Kelsey leaves these comments on her videos where she'll share. A story about something Beatrix has done, or um, um, like something you know, other people come over. She meets other people, and she is so spunky. She's a little diva like Daisy. She's stubborn. She's so much like Daisy. Um, but she said uh, she added um, this morning or yesterday. She added that Beatrix has Spike's smile, and that's why I just thought that was really sweet. She said so. She's got Spike's smile. She has Daisy's really long ears. She said they're like two inches past her chin. Oh my god! Yeah, and she's not even a year yet. Well, I guess she'll be a year soon, but April second. That's really long, though. I know. Really long ears. But she's. I I think of. So we have two videos of Beatrix that stick out to me that I feel like just really captured her personality. And one of them, Drew is leaning into the pool of puppies, mm. and. Almost the whole litter is like surrounding him, like kind of within his arms. Except, would you stop? I thought the shirt was gonna be safe. Uh, uh. Um, I guess it's only hoodies from here on out. Um, uh, and so, but Beatrix, she wasn't completely up with the whole litter, and so she comes over and she gets up on her hind legs and she just kind of like plows into Drew. And so she falls down and then stands back up and just plows back into him. It's really, it's really funny. And there's another one where Beatrix is like nine weeks old, I think. Um, she stayed um, like a tiny bit over past the other puppies. And um, so um, we had her in, let's see, she kind of was, She we did some sleep training with her too. So it's kind of hard to pinpoint exactly what it was, but we had um, we may have had a, a sibling or two. Um, we may have, she may have been like eight and a half, nine weeks old. So she was big enough to climb and, um, she climbed up the pen. So that pen that we have, that we first bring the puppies into after we move them out of our bedroom, the one that's like tucked away into a corner. Um, we had Beatrix in there and, um, we had, towels kind of going over the panel so that she wouldn't use it as a ladder and um she still however um i was coming in to actually get footage of her and at the time i was like trying to do this like zoom in thing so i was like walking around the corner and daisy is always kind of just like running around with me and i come around the corner and beatrix is like balancing at the top of the panel She's got her front feet supporting her on the outside of it with her back feet still inside the pen. And so Daisy sees her and she goes running over and she jumps up and kind of gives Beatrix a kiss. And Beatrix kind of like uses her nose and jumps down and she makes out safely. And then Beatrix runs off with Daisy. 
and it was it's just the sweetest video because it captured Be Beatrix's personality like she she was done it was she was done eating you know whatever it was she was doing she was done and she wanted out and she was going to get out and she wasn't going to let any towels or anything stop her and um you know as soon as mom came around and she was so excited when she saw Daisy her eyes lit up um and it's just a lot of fun to see them grow into their personalities and all these um all these months later it's been almost a year now since she was born and Kelsey has um it's been really nice because it's like a little baby book that is flowing on YouTube in these various um video comments of Beatrix little, little baby stories of Beatrix and so um it's been real easy to kind of picture the puppy that she is she's turned into a really really nice dog from the sounds of it and she's a great little ESA for Kelsey's cat um Kelsey's cat got scared of the dark and she bolted out so apparently she's a rescue cat and she is like terrified of pitch black outdoors and so she accidentally ran too far and Kelsey went and rescued her and she apparently she went running in and little Beatrix went over to her and comforted her and kissed her and sniffed her and checked her out okay. and then she like she went over to Kelsey and did like a you know she's fine <laughs> she's fine don't suck him all this attention and so like that's 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 Daisy that's Daisy right there Hi. Daisy's Hi. personality oh, Beatrix just sounds like an absolute joy to have around we're so silly you're being so dainty isn't she I wonder if she's starting to go back into heat and that's why she's getting needy because she went into her last heat was like November yeah they into the heat. well that'd be a little early she was right before Missy in December. How old is Carol? So, yeah, that's right. Oh, so needy. Yeah. She's so pretty. And she, I used to be kind of disappointed with the amount of feathering that she didn't have right but like yeah she's gotten older um oh it's a, it's, oh owie owie you did get it out it i saw it drop on the ground oh the scissors Oh, you don't have a microphone? Oh, shoot. I took it off because I didn't want to do the, the ASMR mukbang food chewing. Yeah. It's just people, nobody, or not nobody, but it'll be difficult to hear you. Because it would, yeah. the only way, um, the only pickup would be for mine. Um, oh, what I was going to say about Pom Pom's fur is that um, hers is like, it just lays on her, on her body. Whereas Paris is, it's fluffy and, you know, kind of does what it wants to do, which is awesome. She's so soft and it's a lot of fun to snuggle her. In fact, it's a very sensory thing. <clears throat> um, but Pom Pom's is so, it's so pretty to look at because it's very uniform. And she has a lot of it. She still has really long feathering. I love that Minnie looks so much like her. She's so pretty. Hi, Remy. Yeah, hi. Hey, Audrey's mom says that she loves the pictures of you on her mug. Yeah. Yeah, she says she loves it. She loves it. That's you. That's you. And Kiwi's mom and dad got a mug with you. Yeah. You're such a pretty girl. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, you're a good girl, then. You're a good girl. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. Man, kitty cats. Meow. Meow. Harris was caked in mud yesterday. Ew. And I don't know how she brought herself from that to this. I can only imagine that the other dogs helped her clean up overnight. Um, well, no, it wouldn't have been overnight. Oh, her. so May didn't take her upstairs? No, I was just saying it wouldn't have been overnight because um, May would have had her upstairs. So, yeah, never mind. Oh, May slept with her? It, but she cleaned it up before that is what I'm saying. Oh. It had to have been earlier. Because I mentioned to her um, needing to probably brush her out mm. at least. You're a good girl. You're so motherly, Remy. Where are you going, Tom? He's such a good girl. You know, when we bought this house, we were, um, the whole reason we started looking at it was because it had the wheelchair ramp. And we weren't even in the market to buy a house. It was just kind of something we had on the radar because Matthew was growing and he was in a wheelchair and the house we were living in, we had, it was very tight. And um, mm -hmm. when we bought this house, we, so we started looking at it because at the wheelchair ramp and it also has, you know, a lot of more open space. And um, when we came to look at it, like right before we closed on it, um the seller was here and so we kind of asked like you know what's with the wheelchair ramp because you have this like nice house that's clearly for a younger family and um he said that it was for um for their scene they rescued senior dogs and a lot of times their dogs were had a lot of mobility issues and so senior um, golden retrievers yes golden retrievers yes. to be specific and for one, I thought it was really sweet that he went out and built an entire handicap ramp for, for just for like seat because they were adopting senior dogs. Because a lot of people don't do that. Um, a lot of people just you know still help them up the stairs um, because it's also not a lot of stairs. It's like three stairs. Yeah, it's not that much. <laughs> and it's a really long ramp for the three stairs it takes to get to the door. It's a very gentle uh, slide. Yeah. So. Um, but I just think it's kind of ironic that he installed that for their senior dogs. And now we use it for all of our dogs. Mm -hmm. And I didn't think like, you know, our dogs are healthy. They're not seniors with, you know, all these Mobility joint issues, problems. Yeah. Um, but that ramp is awesome to have for when they are running out yeah. because they don't get like clogged on the stairwell, you know, cause it's a little staircase off of, you know, just a very small back, you know, I can't even call it a deck. It's not a deck. It's just yeah. like a little platform. It's a four by four square of, yeah. of decking. Um, and so it would get really crowded if we, if they were all trying to like slow down and go down the stairs with, you know, some caution. And so well, they kind of abandoned caution, but um, with the ramp, they, they just ignore the stairs and they just go running out and it's, <sighs> it's really nice. They go sprinting. <laughs> but it's just, it's funny to me that we got the house to use the ramp for the actual purpose that a wheelchair ramp is for. <laughs> and then both the previous owner and us really just ended up using it for our dogs. Rio! <laughs> Rio! I apologize if Drew is shouting to the microphone. I'm taking some getting used to. Biddle, 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 yeah. Um. Oh, baby. I'm losing my mind. Biddle, 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 biddle. <laughs> Oh shoot! Sorry for that. No, no, no!
hour and 40 minutes. It's my trip. All right, that's not as far as I thought. Hello, hello, sir. Hi, hi, toast. Hi, toast. Hi, hi, Pandora. Hello. No spike. Go this way. Man, when Paris wants something, yeah, she she wants something, she can clear anything. She can lumber and or she may lumber and she might not look like she's very athletic, but but when she wants to be when she wants a cat, she can she can make it happen. But what was kind of interesting was as soon as I put Spike back out, the cats turned around and followed him. Oh really? Yeah. Your mic is muted. There we go. Hi, baby. Hi, sweetums. How's my good mocha dog, huh? Who's my good mocha dog? Oh, does that feel good? Does that feel nice? You ate a lot of food this morning. Hi, Myra. Can you show everyone your little belly? Look at her belly. What a pretty belly. What a pretty belly. Turn just a little bit. Oh, Remy. That, that's not helpful. That is not helpful. It's hard to see with a horde of dogs, but Ferris is like, I want to see. It's starting to pop. It's starting to pop out. She's starting to, like, she's got that, like, um, is that dog pregnant? Look. She's just real thick. Especially when she stands up like that. When she stands up on gates or doorways, it's really obvious. Do try uh, the Good girl. Uh, scrambled eggs yes, with are. crab and the... Uh, uh, I cannot wait to see your puppies. Chili? I can't wait. No, no, in the microwave. I can't wait it's to really eat good. them. I, try, I give... Uh, try, I, give I can't wait to meet your babies. They're going to be so pretty. Like, oh, so good. They're gonna be so pretty. I guarantee you, you will enjoy it. Grab two eggs. Cheese? No cheese. No cheese. Oh, and for all of our channel members, um, I mentioned this yesterday, um, but I was kind of quick about it. I um, updated the little emojis that we have that our channel members. Um, that are available for channel members to use. 18 bucks. I eggs. added a Remy eggs, emoji. Oh, um, and good. I think I added a Paris yeah. one. And then I think good. I um, updated. I updated somebody's picture. Amen. I think I updated yeah. Mocha's yeah. picture. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hi, Diana. Correct hi, Valerie and Clover. Hi, Kristen. Thanks for joining us. Lay Dawn. Hi, how are you? Cindy, it's nice to see you again. Do it over here, though, so you can throw the, you can throw the shells away quickly. Patty, how are you? Thank you for joining us, Kathy and Nisho. Hello again, Lisa and Piper. How are you? That was that's odd. Like yesterday, I was struggling to get them open. Linda, I don't That's think so I weird, said good morning to you track. earlier. I hope you're doing well. Yeah. Cynthia, nice to see you. I wonder right, how many puppies are in there, too. If we had an ultrasound machine. <laughs> What's that? 
I said if we only oh, had an ultrasound machine. Because she she wants if she's in here. No, oh, no, 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 no. Um, she's getting spoiled with our Yeah, she she's getting spoiled, and so she's just getting really used to it. And so then being in here, she's like, "This is a dump." <laughs> yeah. like, this is terrible. These mattresses kill my back. <laughs> I need that purple mattress. Yeah, I need that purple mattress. The adjustable. You're such a funny dog. Ooh, hooey. I can't wait for her Baby. her fur to all grow back in because unfortunately when we do the when our first when a mom has her first litter, um we do a back to back litter. So their first litter um she's had so many heat cycles right, off, good. then we um she's like four or five um heat cycles that they'll have before their first you, you litter. Pepper, and so pepper. we'll do um pepper when they're close to age like two and a half is when they'll have their first litter. Um, and if the dog, if the mom is, mom. has like a good breeding That's body, if she's right. like Remy's size, Myra's size, um, they have really good yeah. body nope. for nope. breeding. Nope. And um, uh, so stir and salt. for um, the only time that we'll do a back-to-back -back breeding is for that first, between that right, first and second. Um, and it's because when we, did, when we had Missy's first litter, we had her first litter. Sorry, baby. And then we waited for her next heat cycle. And um, four, four, we waited for that next heat cycle. And then we were going to breed her on her next cycle. But it took forever for the next cycle to come. And our vet suggested Ooh. to um, next time to just breed. If we wanted to continue <laughs> breeding them, um, like going forward, um, he said to do that second breeding on that next heat cycle. So to have that one and two back to back and then yeah, have yeah. their, their break start after that. And you yawned, um, walked right through it. And then, uh, <laughs> so, so Myra, that's kind of, Myra's on litter so, too. So and so that's hard. why her fur is kind of shorter so because hard. her fur grew out and hasn't really had a chance to grow back in. Um, Daisy's is finally that. growing back that's in that. after a year off. You can wait. Um, but, I look forward to Myra's fur growing back in. Oh, sorry, ah, sorry. Um, Big but it happens to all of our moms, and I really hate it. Uh, their fur, it 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 stays after after they deliver the puppies. It's still there. A couple weeks go by, it's still there, and then at like four-ish weeks after delivery, sorry, um, their fur just starts coming out of their tails, their legs, their bellies, um, and then they look. They look bare. So they look like we shave them. They look like we shave their bellies. And and it really does. Um, and and like a lot of people just think that we do shave them. them. We'll get comments once in a while asking why we shave their beautiful fur. <laughs> um, yeah, awfully. And not that, but get some really ugly comments too. Like. <laughs> yeah, it's it's kind of amazing. The like people will take like three things that they see and draw seventeen conclusions from it that like require a lot of mental gymnastics to get to. But it's usually based on a lot of preconceived biases and assumptions, like oh, if 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 X is there, and then therefore obviously Y and Z too. That sort of logic. But anyway, um, what was I talking about? Talking about their fur. Oh yeah, yeah. So, um, but usually their fur, uh, like if you look at Robin and Remy, her fur is growing back in her tail. Little scragglies, but Robin's is really, you can really see where hers is starting to grow back in. And um, Myra's is growing back in too, but she's um, she's fluffing up. So it's, when they're pregnant, their fur is just a little, little bit different. It They don't lose any of it. And so um, it's kind of hard to see where it's growing back in, but it is growing back in. Um, it's just that once her next litter is born, what she has grown is all going to come out. So that stinks. But Robin will probably have her whole coat back before she has her next litter. Um, because with her last litter, she had her full coat in and um, she had that year off. So um, 
no, it wasn't any like longer oh, that she had. Oh, no. But this, pretty much as soon as they grow back in, then they lose it again. They have oh. it in long enough so that they can take their beautiful maternity shots and have their pretty like delivery so, shots of oh. here's my puppies, and then they lose it. Why are you guys all just licking each other? <laughs> because we're delicious. Missy is licking Mocha's hoo ha, and Hello. Mocha is licking her eyes, and Remy is licking both Mocha's hoo ha and Missy's eyes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's not spread infections, okay? <laughs> or from... create infections, I should say. Bum eyes. Yeah. Mix the egg and the crab together. And that way the egg heats up yeah, the crab and uh, And the eggs cool down Tom. a little bit so they're not too hot. Tom really wants to go see those kitties. She can yeah. hear them. She's like, I can hear them. Hi, sweetie. Maybe we'll take you out there. I'm going to go out there and see the kitties. You're good. Yeah. We can put Spike outside so he won't be staring you down the whole time. It's a lot of pressure. Yeah. You are such mm. a good girl. Don't worry. It's good. Mix it all up. Look at how wet her face is. Ew. You see it? Oh. You see? Getting all no, slobbered this is, this up. This is yeah. Mocha and it, Remy. Just all looking each other around. Right. Her head. Good lord, Remy. <laughs> you guys are so goofy. Mocha, when are you coming out of heat? Because. Oh man, that was so weird. What's that? Just the. So like the. <laughs> Looks like she had like yogurt, but it's just the color of her skin. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> well, look. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I see. I see what you yeah, mean. Yeah, and so when I like Ooh. Lance, when Missy had her tongue there, <laughs> yeah. kind of like, is she like, like looking? Because there's something there. There's something like. And it's just the black and tan in you. And you have a darker skin yeah, color. Like, There's nothing yeah. wrong with that. Everybody's pink on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, boy, boy, boy. Silly dogs. You gotta get your nails too. Cleaning each other to the max. I wanted to do my nail trimming video today, but um, I forgot that I had my appointment um, far away. So that's going to be pushed back to tomorrow. Hi, sweetums. Um, and what I was going to do is um, oh. I was going to choose um, an easier dog that has oh, white nails. Um, so probably, oh. probably be Robin or oh. maybe even Paris. Yeah. Um, and then I will do, Missy can be difficult, but I'll do Mocha. She's got black nails. Um, and show you guys how I, because with the black nails, you can't even see they're quick. And so it really is a guessing game. Um, and depending on the frequency of like how often you trim their nails, their quick could mean? be like any length. Um, you know, if their nails are always being trimmed by like your concrete driveway because your dog is running across it all the time, then their quick is probably back a little bit further. Um, but if they're inside dogs that just like to um, lay on the bed, lay on the lay on the floor, and hang out, and they don't do a whole lot of running around, and you just trim them when they either go to the groomers or when you know once you can start hearing them do what Missy's are doing. Um, and their quick might be a little bit longer um, just because it's used to being out a little bit further. And so with, um, when you have black nails, it's, um, it's difficult to tell because they can, it can be really any length in there. Um, and so you want to have a good idea of how, how far you usually trim them back um, and how often you do it. Where did the, uh, um, the brush go? The orange, orange and white guy. It is in our bathroom underneath the light switch. Okay. 
Oh. 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 Are you posing? Hi, sweetie. You got such a sweet belly. I can't wait to meet your babies. You start your temps tomorrow, and I've got an email. Got to fire off that email with that paperwork. So we can make sure we register your puppies. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. Let's get this junk out of your fur. Yeah. It's okay, right, sweetie. Yeah. All right, baby. All right, Makami. Okay. She has an icky mat that I was going to start working on. It's not as gnarly as Rio's was. Did you see that thing? Yeah. Mm, I remember that, that one. That one where it was like... It was like a whole new friend. Yeah. I tried to work on it with this. And you could only get so far, and then you had to cut it. And when you when you yeah. were cutting into it, it like was, it was like it was like a rock. A whole matter of material. Yeah, it yeah. was like its own. <laughs> there was a lot of fur wrapped up into that thing. You could yeah. get a sweater from it. Huh. It's just like when those um, when they have those mats. What's funny is when you cut them, they're really soft inside. Yeah, they're so, yeah, they're so <laughs> soft, and, and you can make a dog toy out of this. Yeah. Sorry. Good girl. Yeah, is that better? A little bit better? I'm such a good girl. Good girl here, there. Good girl, fair bear. Oh. Snort, snort, snort. Doggy, doggy, snort. Doggy, doggy, snort, snort, doggy, doggy, snort, snort. The Terminator. Wait, we could do your nails on the video. Do whose? Liana's, because she's got perfect size nails for trimming. They're like perfect example nails. Nice, short, completely clear. Well, they're like, Nails. her dew claws have a nice um, length to them to mm. show the pink part. And then, like, you know that little opaque, I call mm. it a capsule, because it looks like a little capsule that the yeah, pink the, is inside. Mm -hmm. And so you can just see it can really see it well. Very clearly. That's and awesome. then you can see where, like, the fingernail part is. Mm. Like the off-the-skin part. All right, sweetie. Look at this. Yeah, this is all you. You've in. got perfect, beautiful nails. You do. All right. Let's get the inner set again. Come back to this. You're going to be our little movie star. <laughs> Bella will be so excited. I'll be excited to have a movie star. No. No, no, no. You are a mess. You must be clean. Mm. A lot of her nails are already filed down from running around, and so we can just go through them. And oh, come on. They only need to be trimmed a little bit because they're... <laughs> Being very Her hind legs are just completely trimmed down to the quick. That's what I love about them running around not so much outside. Yeah. Oh, I know. It's just so terrible. You are a big old baby. Um, do you want me to pick up food on my way home? Uh, no, I've got um, stuff to cook. Meow. I think we'll do Philip's meal. Oh, 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 okay. Do um, cheeseburgers, bacon cheeseburgers. Awesome. Since we've got all that, and then um, he make it blurry. He did not want. Um, uh, he did not want um, Trace Leches this time because he's taking it back to uh, to Topeka, and his girlfriend made him a Trace Leches cake for his birthday. 
Oh, so now he won't have it here at all. Well, no, he, he, uh, he did say he's just like, I've had uh, a lot of his stitches out to try something new. Oh. Uh, he's, and so he got a tiramisu cake. He's like, huh. he's like, I think I've tried something like this. And I was like, it's kind of. Uh, he would like it. Uh, what? He he drinks coffee. Yeah, I was like, it's it's kind of coffee-ish. It's uh, it depends on who makes it. Yeah. yeah. It's because if tiramisu, I feel like it's a huge gamble. <laughs> yeah, it can be a gamble. It's hard to pick for dessert at a restaurant if there's yeah. like another thing that sounds good mm -hmm. because you don't know if their tiramisu is going to be like hit or miss. It's going to be money or if it's going to be a, a bust. Sorry, sweet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Your tail is a mess. It's okay, baby. No, it's not. Now we gotta go back over this. Yeah, this, these are some horny cats. <laughs> it's okay, sweetie. I know. I know. This is what happens when you go running through fields that yeah. don't belong to you. Yeah. You're a good girl. You're a very good girl. It's okay, sweetie. It's okay. It's okay. You you like that? That's it's pretty good. It's, it's okay, sweetie. Yeah. Messy. Use a spoon. <laughs> Use a spoon. Oh, silly dog. Oh, I'm covered. Um, yeah, you get it's got a solid helping of protein, and then you get the good. Fat and cholesterol from your eggs. You know, will you get your face out of there trying to block it? Hi, sweetie. <laughs> just like, stop it. You're just trying to. She's Paris is such a good dog. Like you can, you can see that she doesn't really want to do this, but she's not like. She's not going. Nuts. She's not being. She's not misbehaving. She's not. Good girl. You know, she's she's trying Thank as you. hard as she can to tolerate it. Like I've had um when I remember being a kid and my mom would be specifically, I remember when I went swimming in a pool and I did not put my hair in a ponytail. And we had done all kinds of like diving for sticks and stuff, and my hair was tang it was a huge tangled mess. And it hurt so bad when my mom was brushing it out. We didn't have like any of that spray in like detangler, we didn't have anything. And so I think we like dumped conditioner into my hair, <laughs> but it was very, very, very painful. And so like, I, you know, I sat through it and tolerated as much as I could, but I would do what Paris is doing and, you know, pull away when it hurt really bad. Is your coffee finished? No. no. All right. Sorry, Piper. A little noggin. Good girl. Good. All sorts of junk in your fur. You're a good girl. Yeah, you're so pretty. Does that feel good? Is that is that what that is? If she's relaxed, I would. That's how I can usually tell. If she's groaning and she's relaxed, it feels good. If she's groaning and she's tense, it doesn't. Yeah, she's pretty. She seems relaxed. And she. Oopsies. And she what? I was like, she always gets these like little mats and mm -hmm. the, all the armpits of her body. So like, and all these. Like, you know, her ear armpits mm -hmm. and her, her hip armpits. Yeah, all the little, all the pits. Yeah. Filled in with mats. There you go. Nice and soft now. Oh, I promised I'd get Bradley one of those beds. Um, oh. I'm to put in his room for um, a dog, for his dog to sleep with him. Oh. He just doesn't want them to sleep in his bed. But I think he would like them. In his room, he brought Rio. Um, me and Bella had been on the bed yesterday, mm -hmm. and he was like, "I feel like I haven't seen Rio in a while." And I was like, "You can get him." And so he went and got him, and Rio was so excited. 
So he was so sweet because he came and I was laying in the middle, kind of on the crack so the kids wouldn't argue. Uh-huh. Bella's on my right and Bradley's on my left. And Rio came and kind of snuggled between me and Bradley. And he was so excited. You know how he is when he's excited. Mm-hmm. But he was containing himself. When was this? On our bed. And Like two nights ago? This was yesterday afternoon after school. And um, Bradley was like... Uh, um, and he was like, I wish I, I wish I, I do this more. I wish I'd done this before. Like he was like, Rio is such a good dog. And I was like, it's like, you can, you can still do you it. You can still have him. Oh, jeez. But I told him that he could do that again. Oh my goodness. You're right. It, see? That's see? magical. It's, it is magic. Because I'm going to go to town. (laughs) See, I did the very same thing. I even did this. It's super satisfying. It's like power washing. Yeah. Yeah, Get all up in there. Oh Oh, my gosh. Yeah. (laughs) I did not get this one. So if you want to get this one, this one's got like double duty. This is. Jeez, please. My goodness. It's crazy is the fact that I just did that like what a week ago. Yeah. Dirty doggies. You dirty doggies. It still blows my mind, you guys, that we have as many dogs as we have and they shed as little as they do. That is true. Because. Um, I mean, you guys see how you guys see how often we vacuum, how often we sweep, how often we scrape dog hair off beds. <laughs> um, and I'm just surprised that we don't we don't have more to deal with than we do. Yeah, could you imagine if we had dogs that were of a different breed? Oh, come on, get out of here. With like a ton of fur. Yeah, like a. That's what I couldn't do. Like a. A border Saint, collies had a ton of fur. Oh, did they? A Saint Bernard or a Great Pyrenees. Cause see, I feel like this is the amount of fur that one of those dogs has. Oh man, yeah. Because I remember seeing this amount of fur when we had two border collies. And then that's the thing, though, is the dogs are furry. It's not like they're not furry. Yeah. It's just uh, they must keep a lot of their fur on them. All the fact that they don't have. I wonder if they just they lick a lot of it because they spit up uh, hair balls and. <laughs> and that they do. But, excuse me, I'm not quite done yet. Oh, and I picked up in Bella's room what appeared at first. I thought it was dog poop, but then as I, upon closer examination, it was the consistency and color and texture of chewed up dog food. But the what really like a dog. helped me figure it out was that um, um, it was very hairbally. Oh, so um, like, like a, all that dog, all those dog food particles were mm-hmm. kind of connected by, by hair. The, oh, so and so I asked May her opinion because you know how like dog poop will have like long stringy hairs yeah. that kind of go through it, and but she she agreed that it was dog food and so this was a and that was up in Bella's room it was not yeah. like a big but it was also like formed that was what she thought was weird that it was formed so if you puked it up i think so um, it was um, it wasn't like whippity. it was just hmm. like it wasn't it was like a very it's like this big hmm. But it was like a log. It was yeah. It was a nugget. Yeah, like like when they vomit a salad and it's like mm. the shape of their throat. Their throat. Yeah. Okay. But that was yesterday. That was kind of weird. She doesn't do that a lot. There you go, doggies. Pretty clean. Isn't that nice? Man, holy smokes! I'm curious if the um. If the vacuum with one of its attachments would do like a different, would do a better job or would not do as well. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I bet the vacuum with the uh, the shutter would do well. Because that's, that's the de-shutter on that brush. That's the de-shutting side. Ah. Are you supposed to use that on your dog? Yeah. The de-shutter. Huh. Is this... The, is the this... point you use it, you use a de-shutter. No. This that's is the... that's a, like a brush. Oh. But you use the de-shutter basically when you're done and you're trying to get oh, off this like, all the stray stuff. Yeah. Okay. So if we were to use this. Oh. Try on here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. see, there you go. Yeah, I use the vacuum on this. Okay. Ah, okay. Use the vacuum, de shed, and suck that stuff up, maybe. That would be a lot easier to keep that thing clean. Hmm. Well, Sienna, you are such a good doggy. You are a wonderful little puppy dog for Bella. Yes, you are. Yes, yeah, you are, I think lady. you're right. We need to get her spayed. Yeah, so she that... needs to get spayed. I've got to get you spayed so you don't have any accidental babies. Daisy can get away with it, but you can't. <laughs> Daisy and Pom Pom. Yeah, Daisy and Pom Pom can get away with it, but not the Vienna girl. They are just big enough. You, you though. Like not only is she small, but like she also has very small hips. Yeah. I think it would be dangerous. And for you. even if, even if she was able to successfully birth them, I would still be worried that because the eight weeks they spent in there growing, they had such limited limited space to grow mm. that they would come out tiny and yeah, and be work. weak and. Yeah. Oh, and. She could have the same anatomy that her mom had. Yep. I mean, her. Oh, yeah, yeah, her mom. I'm, I'm less worried about that and more just worried about her size. That feel good. Like that. You're massaging your, your brain. Mm-hmm. My pants. I look forward to Missy and Rio puppies one day. Oh, man. Missy and Rio puppies. I'm getting excited for those. <laughs> Let us in. Oh, we man. want Rio. We want to get inside. We have mutual goals with Rio. <laughs> Wait, where'd your little uh, human powered broom go? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. I haven't seen it in a while. I actually, I think last I saw it, it was out. Oh, Mocha. Hi, pretty Mocha. Who's a good girl? Yeah, you're the girl. She's going to have a nice breeding body, too. Yeah. She's got a nice long torso. Got long torso and big hips. Yep. But not quite as big as you. You're the best, Robin. Or Myra. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Where's Myra's got such an awesome. She is figure. She is good. Good breeding stock. There it is. Sorry about that. Here for now. I'm gonna be kind of coming and going. Have you seen Bella going nuts for the pistachios? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. So, Sue said, you remember that troll that whose comment I read out? Uh huh. Oh, Jesus, really? When was that? Like just now? Yeah, just now. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. 
because he had to subscribe for an hour and he hates yeah. us. Yeah. Didn't, wow. In particular, he takes for fundraising for our own dogs. One idiot. That I shared his name. Oh, nice. uh, so when I talked about like, right. read his comments, I shared his name. Like when people leave trolling comments like that on the videos, they could be they could enter them on the live chat and right. talk live. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised, like usually they don't do that. That's uh, pretty pretty ballsy. Man, this is the best Timu money that you've spent. <laughs> Holy mackerel. I just had so much stuck in there. Oh. Oh yeah, he really, he's really talking. And um, so um, people like that are one of the reasons that we like to live stream um, our moms uh, when we're on break or when the moms are on break um, and our puppies because because we want to be as transparent as we can. And um, we used to just like take a lot of video and send it to families. Um, but it was, that was a lot of work. It took up a lot of space too on our phones and just, it took a lot of time to get all those individual videos. And it was a lot easier to just turn on the live stream and just turn it on, let it run. And then families can check in whenever they want. And, um, and then we send videos like in addition. And then we have time to make the fun videos that we post on the channel. Um, but one reason that we like to continue the stream when we don't have puppies too, is so that you guys can kind of see what we're doing, what the, what the dogs do when they're not being bred. You can see that, um, you know, they're not, when they're not working, that they're, um, uh, not being stuffed in the basement. They're members of the family. They do everything with us. Um, you know, we go outside with them and play with them and, um, half of them sleep in bed with us. Um, and so rather than trying to convince people, um, you know, because we could have our YouTube channel without the live stream and we would probably still get the same comments. Um, but having the live stream, I just feel helps. Um, we can just show you guys, you know, we show you how we do different things. Um, you know, and then you guys, you see them getting dewormed. You see them, you see them getting their nails trimmed, being potty trained. You see them, do, us doing the different things with them that we say we're going to do. And so that's another thing that we think is important. Um, so. But we appreciate everybody's support. We appreciate that you guys stick up for us when yeah. these people come around. That's pretty committed to subscribe for an hour to... A channel yeah. just to get on there to enter the live chat that's pretty committed yeah to be able to talk shit yeah he will um i had respond he responded to that original comment that i read to you guys that i had sent 
And so I told him that he wasn't bothering me by like making all these outlandish claims and leaving more comments because the way I saw it was that he was increasing the engagement on the live stream, which meant it was going to be pushed out to more people, which meant more people were going to watch it, which meant it was going to increase the revenue for Amelia. And so if anything, he was doing a good thing for us. Um, even if he downvotes the stream, a downvote is not a bad thing. Um, it's a bad thing if you get like, nothing but if you get, yeah, if you just get slammed with downvotes. But if you get, if you're just at a hundred percent with a few likes, it doesn't really mean a whole lot. If you're at like a 98% um, with like a hundred, if you have like a hundred thumbs up and two thumbs down, that's even better than 102 thumbs ups because it tells the algorithm that there's something in there that has people a little divided. And so it tells them that it's going to be something that is intriguing. It's causing people to go out of their way to downvote. And so it's not always a bad thing to downvote. And so, um, you know, when people threaten to, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, um, it just increases engagement for the video. So. Um, and, but he responded to it? No. This, oh, so he didn't respond to that. And so I'm guessing that maybe that's why he did that with the subscribing so he could comment on the live stream. Uh, but it does. It has the same effect because every live chat comment counts as like a real uh, as a comment on a video. So it has the same effect. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. That is funny. I'm such a good girl, Tommy. Oh, good girl. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. She's a good girl, Tom. Hi there, damsel. Aw, thanks. I think cavaliers are very regal too. That's such a good word to describe them. Oh, that's nice. Regal is very legal. Tell like, Rio is Rio is very regal. <laughs> Rio is the Rio. I'm sorry, the regal Rio. Yeah. Oh, you get going. Itchy. Where's Bella? Oh, your microphone on. Plug it in. Thank you, everybody. You guys are so awesome. And now you're tuning in to NPR National Puppy Radio.
tower was not going to be able to handle all of that. Um, videos that get
this and then like It was only in the back of your. I, I, know, yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. And you can hear it like in your ears. Yeah, I thought the same thing. I was like, it's not popping in my tongue. I was like, oh, it must be dubbed or whatever. And then I swallowed it, and then it's just in your throat. <laughs> and you're like, what the shit? Why is it so good? What, Bella? I'm playing with sand. You're playing with sand? Yeah. What sand? Huh? You better not have to make sand up here. You do not You're a little sinker. Hermetic sand Bella. What? You better not have to make sand up here. I got you. Oh, you're doing it.
Quit licking my legs. So only you would use it. No, but that's it. Stop licking my legs, guys. This one let's be licked. Dad said not to bring it. I mean, if I had a week, why would you bring it? <laughs> that makes sense.
Gotta finish their day at school, sweetie. Bella, are you hungry? Yeah? You want a, uh, uh, a Lunchable? A pizza Lunchable?
I don't know, it's just the clothes don't fit. Hey, can I try it on? Have you guys seen May's blue Zulu bottle?
Bella. Hey, um, do you want to get your water bottle to take? All right, go grab it then.
What?
Hey guys. Hello, Carter. Uh, your bottle. I, I washed your Zulu bottle in the day. Yeah, look. Part two. That's Oh. Oh. What are we going to be doing? What's that? What are we going to be doing? Yeah, let's just walk on a trail. Where's it at?
so sorry that we went mute. Um, that's one reason why uh, Drew and I almost never leave the house at the same time. Bradley, you'll have your your own size one day. So we'll fill the fill cash. We don't know why. We don't know why. Yeah, it is. Yes, 
determination. Then, then why is everybody saying that's discrimination? Well, yeah, it is. That's everybody. There are no big What was that? I love you. Wow. I'm just not liking my head. I don't even know why you do that. Look your way, brother. Okay, go that one. Um. Why are you hitting me all the passing it around, man? You don't want to just pass it. Yeah. You want a pizza lunchable? It's hard to taste the onions and that sort of. There's two. There's, there's another. There, there are three boxes of orange chicken. There's another one right there, made by by my seat. Is a 15 minute show oh, gross? It's perfect. It it's, so it's like 40 minutes. I never mind, but it had no place. Yeah, it's like a little bit. 
playing with the rock, you're playing around the shower. Would y'all hear
Yeah, you're like, here's the pump that has two handles. <laughs> what do you do that happens? I made it about a mile long road. And then, <laughs> and then you guys were all here. So I called that. And at first, I was pretty sure that that was what I'd done, but I
Oh. 
Friday. No, this this summer, this next summer is the last you can drive. Yeah, when he's 18, he can do Um, It's okay, Bob. It's not back coffee, baby. I know. Okay. Excuse me.
That's the coffee on top. That's good. Wait, oh, I'm sorry. No. I have to say, when we had a thing. Uh, I've never had a Dad, that tiramisu was so good. All right, so Bradley plays the tiramisu. That was a tiramisu. Yeah. <laughs> 
So did Dad? He put his hand on the right, and he didn't realize. This is when we first discovered that Rio did this. That Rio was was using them for release. Because he had good seen Rio doing those things, and he was like, "Rio, knock it off, knock it off, knock it off, knock it off." All right. Knock it off because he knocked it off because he knocked one off. And so then I went, and now I went to go pet the cat, and I was like, why? He didn't, no. so yeah, so he didn't realize that that was why he stopped. Yeah. And so he went to go. Sticky. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. Rio is so confused. Oh, is that what you guys were talking about when you were talking about what the cat's being turned on by Rio? Yes. And being yep. very confused? Yes. Because, uh, who was it? It's, it's uh, Toast. No, it's Cutie Pie. Like, he the mouse. yeah, he loves her the mouse. Whenever he's like, ah, when he, whenever he's doing his thing, she starts like rubbing her face <laughs> on, on his chin. Like, and she closes her eyes. Yeah. And he's like, no, we're even close. Yeah, he's like, yeah. He's, but they seem to both be aware of that. <laughs> Just like it reminds me of two teenagers that have vowed ah. not to do things and so they just go up to that point. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, normally, Dad, normally, my mom orders three boxes.
Bradley, it's a school night. No, we and we went and we went hour. we went to the park to hike. No. So it's time to start relaxing. We went for a hike.
No. Robin.
No. No. Sit, Daisy.
I'm doing it in the orange. 
Hold on, Spike. You're next. Thank you. 
The girls that didn't come in here. Hey, hey, hey. The girls that didn't come in here are going to miss out. That's so much better. That's so much better. So much better. Uh uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. Good doggies. Good doggies. Good doggies. Good doggies. All right. So for Rio, the
Thank <laughs> you. 